when we changed it from Entech across to the, the Power and Water Corporation, everybody ran around and said it's for sale, and they're saying the same now. One of the big issues out there, it's got to be a joke, Daryl, I just don't know who's spreading it, but you couldn't give Power and Water away. Yeah. I mean, it, last year it lost $35 million. It's $1.3 billion in debt, rising to one6 in two years' time. Merv Davis, Davis did a report on it. This is Power, Water and Sewerage, and said... Uh, you need to spend a lot of money on it. Power and Water and the regulator costed his report just to fix it at $1.3 billion. So it's, it's now buying $18 million worth of fuel that can't burn a year because they got into a take or pay situation on the gas. That's the contract. Take, take, you take it and you pay for it, and if you don't take it, you still pay, still for, pay it. for it. So it's costing $65 million a year just in interest on the, on the, on the debt at $1.3 rising to 1.6 who's going to buy it I mean you could not sell it you, as I said you couldn't give this thing away it really is uh, a and disaster you, and if someone bought it without a government guarantee all the board members would be breaking the law because it would be trading in salt Judy King the uh, then uh, chairman of power and water wrote to the then uh, treasurer in the Labor Party and said please give us a letter of comfort because this thing is virtually trading whilst insolvent and a letter was provided uh, and I mean it's not much better than that now and uh, it, it really is a basket case so th that you know, not for sale it's like Largely the electrical trade union and, and unionists out there that are pushing this campaign, it's got to be a joke, Daryl. There's nobody going to buy it, I can tell you that now. But it's been, well, uh, you know, as I said, that's been the mantra that's been going ever since there's been uh, efforts to try and make it work more efficiently.